I need to get some pots right now. Get some pots right now. Right now. Pots right now. Hey guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from a friend, uh, my friend Shannon. She is like my plant buddy um, and uh, we send things back and forth. I actually have to get her box together. Possibly going to do that um, right after doing this unboxing. Because um, I want to get out, out to her before the weekend so it gets to her before the weekend so I'm just gonna open this super quickly hopefully I didn't show my address um, she sends me the most beautiful goodies and I'm so excited to send her some things back so I hope I'm recording I think I am so the first thing I have here I think I might have ripped the name off not sure Alright, so this, she sent me a bunch of begonias the last time and I had such a hard time with them and lost a lot of them. I'm still trying to have, uh, rescue um, two of them, but I just don't know if they're going to make it. I think from now on, I'm going to put my begonias in um, Laka because I'm having such a hard time with the soil. So... What is this? A silver squill. Okay, open this up. And she does such a great job at um at packaging things. Oh, I definitely don't have this. So I'm going to try to be quick about this so that I have time to package her things. Such a cutie! And she put like um, moist uh, tissue so the soil doesn't dry out. And she propagates all her plants to send them. So that's so special. Um, I'm gonna save this because I can use this. I'm out of like tissue paper. Little Miss Sherry. Hmm. Little Miss Sherry. Looks like that's a begonia. Oh god. She's stuck. Looks like she's a begonia. So I'm definitely going to put her in um some Laka because I believe that she propagates most of her plants in Laka. I'm gonna keep that. Oh. Wow, you sent a whole bunch of stuff. <gasps> Pubic palette splash. She has such a beautiful collection. Now Hoyas I can put in um in soil I haven't had an issue with them. I mean I have this one over here that's a monster and she barely asks for anything. Um, I'm gonna keep her in here. I don't wanna forget the names. I am terrible about keeping track of names of things. Okay, Macrophylla Alba Marginata. Ooh. Oh wow. Wow. That's a really beautiful leaf. I hope you can see that. Really pretty. Really pretty. I'm going to keep it. Wow, you really <laughs> filled this up. Alright, this is a shirt shirt pet shirt She's pretty. So pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. <laughs> oh, 
the pack. I think I have enough. I have a bunch of um, I don't know if I have enough. Um, I think um, packs for for um, Leica. That may be a problem. Heard. She is purred. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't. <laughs> this will take forever if I just stay like. Wow, this is like a lot. Oh my goodness. I feel terrible. I have like six, six or seven things I need to send you. You sent me like a million. This is Bella. Bella. Wow, that is pretty. I'm actually going to, I bought a, um, my husband was so kind. He took me this weekend to buy a terrarium. So maybe a lot of these things can go in there. I mean, this would look beautiful buying in a terrarium. Carnosa. I'm so happy. I have to get her package out. I feel terrible. I meant to do it this weekend, but it was Father's Day weekend, you know. I didn't get a chance to. And um, there were a couple that, of plants that I haven't been able to root for her, and I want to send it together. But I have all the confidence in the world that she will be able to root them no problem carnosa it's so pretty she is like making my hoya collection like <laughs> come together okay. a royal hawaiian pubicalyx oh my goodness this is crazy My son is playing with his friends, so. You can hear him laughing. The splash. Little variegation on there. Yay, I'm on the camera. You don't care. Goodness. So pretty. Alright, I got this one doesn't have a name. Hopefully I know what it is. Oh, it's probably in here. She's so good about the names and stuff. A silver limbo. This was one of the ones that I'm trying to get back. And she sent me one that it did so well for so long. And then, bam. I love this one so much. I feel so guilty when they die. Oh I'm gonna keep those little rolls because I need that. Alright. A Princess of Hanover. Mm, I have a feeling I'm not gonna do a good job with this one. I hate to say it, but I know I'm going to try my best. Right. A mystery Hoya. So this one she probably was not sure what the name was either. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is because I'm not like um, a Hoya expert by any means. But if you guys know, comment down below. 
Witty eye. Witty. Witty Yeti. Not Witty eye. I am going to have a lot of potting up to do. And I hope I have enough uh, of everything I need. I'm so excited to send her. Um... Oh, I don't have this one. Um, to send her a couple of things. One of them is... Um... A girl code from and I'm so happy to be able to share that with her. Thanks to Angelique, she's an angel. <laughs> so like my two plant angel friends. I have like three awesome moms, actually more than that. But um that continue to go back and forth. And I have a couple of friends. Um Aaron, Shannon, Angelique, and I, I feel so blessed. Right, this one is the Jolly Silver, which is another one that I had a hard time with. It, it did so well for so long, and then all of a sudden, it so um, I'm gonna try them in Leica because she had them in Leica, and hopefully that will keep them safe. Chelsea, I don't have that one. And now, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, that's a different shape for you. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. I have to make, I have some labels to make. I have some work to do. I got some work to do. I'm so happy. I have um begonia, really pretty begonia. She doesn't have as well. I don't know the name of it. Um, oh, this is the Birkin that she was gonna send me. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, he's a cutie. Oh, he's a cutie. <gasps> it's a little baby. Whoop, coming out. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. Okay, I like it. A diversifolia. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. I'm guessing it's a Hoya because it looks like a Hoya. Let me put it here. Oh, look, there's so many different Hoyas. Like, they're crazy. Right here. Not labeled. Very, very pretty Rex Begonia. Like, very pretty Rex Begonia. Rex, those, I always have a problem with them. Like, they'll do so well for a while. And I don't know if it's just... I'm, I have a feeling it's that my watering. I'm over watering or under watering. And I can't quite get the balance on it. So I'm killing these poor guys. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, I don't even know if you can see this. It's like, oh my god, I hope I don't look at all, but I don't kill this one. That leaf has like a silvery, shimmery, like it looks like almost like a mermaid skin. So pretty. Oh, this really is a very pretty Rexagonia. Very, very pretty Rexagonia. Cubicalyx Pink Splash. I don't have that. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so excited. Her cuttings are like amazing. Amazing. I could see the little. Oh, she has some of the um. Lake balls in here. This one killed me when it started going downhill. The looking glass begonia. I wonder if I could put my begonias in the um oh, in the terrarium. I don't know if I'm gonna have that much room in there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna test out a couple of them in there. Once I get it up and going. Red, burgundy, like beautiful. I really hope I don't kill it. Love these guys. Crinkle eight. I don't have that one either. Such a cutie. Oh my god. This is gonna be so cool to watch it grow. Because it's like a baby. This is so cool. And I have a tiny pot to put that in. A little terracotta pot. Oh, I did so nice round form. I think I have the... Um, is it standard they call it? Or the, the skinny one? I don't think it's this one that I have. Ooh. Wow, nice big leaves. Nice. I do not have this one. I have the smaller one. I don't have this one. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. There, and then one more. <gasps> Villa Boda. Lopinosa. Wait, more than one. <gasps> Mauna Loa. Villa Bada. Wait, there's a couple of things in here. What in the world? This is so cool. All right. So this, I have a couple of things in here. Is the reverse form of the variegated um, Poya Carnosa. It's the Mona Loa. That's so cool. Um, this, I'm not sure it's going to be the Lopinosa. Yeah, this has to be the Mokonosa. Lokonosa. And then this is the curtsy eye. I know. Shoot, I don't know. I believe this is the Bilobata. And then this is the curtsy eye. I need to get some pot right now. Some pot, some pot right now. All right, so I'm gonna go get some pots. I'm gonna pot a bunch of them up. I'm not gonna have you guys watch because there's stuff to do. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just a couple of updates on them. Let's see if I can even pick this up. Kind of heavy. I don't know why it just feels heavy. Alright, so this is the Jolly Silver cutting. So far, doing really good. It's about a week, week and a half since um, I potted her up in the Leica. Um, the C 
Silver Limbo. I mean, it's doing okay. Not awesome. I mean, it's, it has a new little, I don't know what that is. Is that a new leaf, a bud, a flower? I don't know. It's doing good so far. This is the Prince of Hanover. The original leaf is getting kind of busted, but it looks like it's sprouting a tiny new little leaf. Look at the cutie. So I'm excited about that. I'm hoping it survives. Little Miss Sherry's doing okay. She has a little bit of browning on the edges. Um. I think she's going to do okay. This is the Hoya Bella. She looks a little unhappy. I don't know what's up with that. She might need a little more light. <clears throat> the Wayeti. The Birkin. The pubic calyx, the crinkle eight, they're all doing pretty good so far, so I'm happy about that. Heart CI, doing okay so far. The lacanosa. The Bilabada. The items that are for sale on my Etsy shop. Um, this one I haven't posted yet because I haven't finished the eyes. But just so you get an idea of some of the things that I've been uh, making. I just learned to macrame not that long ago. So these are some of the items that I've made. I'm super proud of them. Um, because... I come a long way <laughs> um, and you guys had asked uh, whenever I do put them up for sale to let you guys know so um, so just a couple of them super proud of them and it's just um, it's so cool to see like to learn new things and for people to ha show interest in in them so thank you guys so much for all of your support um for for watching commenting for all of your kind words and um inspiring me because um this girl's hired but she's inspired by you guys you guys really push me to try better do better and and just learn more and uh, the little time that i have um me time that is relaxing time i do things like this and i really enjoy it and it's, it's, um, it is flattering that you guys are interested. So I also forgot to mention that I'm selling, um, succulents on my Etsy shop and I will start doing some houseplant cuttings at some point. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, so check out my Etsy store if you see something you like, you know, thank you and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Shannon so much for your beautiful plant um, babies. I'm so happy to have them and I hope I can have them thrive in my care. Um, if you guys uh, liked it, please give it a like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place. One succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye!